It's roll up season at Tim Hortons and for one stats professor at the University of Waterloo that means it's game time for the last three years Michael Wallace has taken unique joy in using data and strategy to beat the game and win at an incredible rate. Jeff Pickle tells us why he's back at it again. For most of us who play roll up to win, the winning happens every once in a while. Probably every four or five, I'll win a coffee or a donut. Maybe one in three, one in three or four. I haven't really won. For Michael Wallace, it's a different story. When I played the roles at the best time, I won almost 80% of the time. A biostatistician, it's fair to say Wallace really enjoys numbers. His interest in roll-up started in 2020 when the contest moved from a cup to online. That opened up a lot more interesting avenues, thinking about how the contest was designed and how you as a player might be able to take advantage of it. In 2020, Wallace says he studied the rules and worked out a theory. Bought a bunch of coffees, got a bunch of rolls, saved them all up, played them at the very end of the contest, uh, and I managed to win about 98% of the time. After his near unbeaten streak in 2020, Wallace says Tim's changed. And in 2021, Wallace was thoroughly defeated. In 2022, Wallace fought back and won at a 40% rate. This year, Wallace refined his strategy yet again. They started posting the number of prizes that people were winning as the contest went along. And by recording these data, I was able to plot and figure out an equation that told me when was the best time to play. And when Wallace's theory is simple, play when others are not. But rather than just guess a time, Wallace is able to pinpoint the exact right minute to play. The best time was 3.16 a.m. and the worst time was 11.46 a.m. When I played at the best possible time, I won uh, almost uh, five times out of six. And when I played at the worst time, uh, I won only one time out of six. Throughout Wallace's roll-up adventures, he's never won more than coffee and donuts. And while it may appear this is the work of a man driven by the pursuit of caffeine and sugar, as a professor at UW, his work has some academic purpose as well. So I knew that even if my strategy didn't quite pay off, I'd at the very least get a good story out of it to show my students, try and get them interested in statistics. As for Tim Hortons, in years past, they seem to not mind Wallace and his dogged pursuit of beating their beloved game, an attitude Wallace hopes will continue. At the same time, though, I am always a little bit worried that I'm going to get a letter banning me from my local Tim's. <laughs> Jeff Pickle, CTV News, Waterloo.